finds out that his uh, wife had uh, tripped and fallen down the stairs and hit her head on the pavement and died. And right now we are investigating because he had blood on his shirt and uh, there's blood around the patio and stuff so we're trying to figure out what exactly happened. They're doing things that they typically have done before but they have to do it in a different context at this scene. Uh, they have blood stains on a black on a black surface. They have footprints now, which need to be cast and photographed. They've done this before. They know how to do it. They just haven't done it in a real working environment before. So there's some new challenges for them. Also, there's uh, some diluted blood they have to in interpret. They have blood stain patterns and that need to be interpreted that they haven't seen before. Uh, they've, they've looked at these in a workshop setting, but they haven't looked at them in a, in a, in a scene environment yet. Not exactly as they are here. gotten the pictures of the trails on the floor. Uh, we mid-ranged the cups and stuff so those can be collected before we leave today. Uh, we are cl making close-ups of the swipes on the table and baselining and uh, finishing their measurements so that they can draw everything accurately in their sketches. They might not even be there, but how would you find them? Good. What else? What else can you do? Uh, fluorescent. And fluorescent powder. ALS. That'd be hard. Because the sun's. Well, I mean, you'd, you'd have bring to bring the ALS out. You'd have to get yeah, an like ALS the ALS out. But I mean, you'd have the sun, so it would be hard to see with the. You'd wait till nighttime. That's true, but it's kind of with the weather, though. The prints might not be. You never know. Hard. That's the thing. You've got to. You've got to be careful with it. It's a different surface. It's one you haven't seen up before. On that. without the ILS, but the ILS uh, makes it appear like brighter. If you put an orange cap on the lens, you'll be able to see it contrast with the black background. And what is it you're looking at? The, what is happening? The, the fluorescent the powder. In the fluorescent oh. powder become excited. And then when they come back to their original state, they want to Yes. And that's it? Are we looking at that light? Yeah. yeah. What do you call that light? The goggles absorb some of the Look. wavelength. Light, right? Like if you have yes. orange goggles, it absorbs the orange light, so you see the, the opposite complementary color. Don't you? What do you see? What is it? What is it called that you're looking at? From flore a fluorescent dusting powder. <laughs> Water, um, the reagent, and this test is a TMB, and then hydrogen peroxide. Um, there's swabs which you would use to get the sample but what you do is put a drop of water on the swab and then you take a small sample of whatever substance you think is blood and then you put like this one has a TMB reagent it just has to do with what kind of test it is and then you put hydrogen peroxide on and for this test um, it'll turn blue if it is possibly blood that is what, that's what gives you a positive result.